Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I uh, moved and so um, we downsized and so we had to get rid of a lot of our appliances, including our washer and dryer. So today I am going to show you guys what I will be using to wash my clothes and it's a big family I have five kids and then myself so uh just to kind of give you an idea of how many clothes we we have to wash during the week and i usually do my laundry once a week on saturdays is when i do my laundry so we unfortunately downsized and we don't have uh washer and dryer connections so we were practically forced to purchase a portable washer and dryer which looks like this it's the Cosway. Cosway is the brand of this washer and dryer and it's it holds 20 pounds on this side and then like 16 pounds on this side which this side is like the dryer this side is like squeezes all the water out and then it comes out like 80% dry and then you hang up the clothes and then it takes probably like another hour for them to hang and just air dry but it's way better than like going to a laundry facility and spending like eight bucks on all your laundry and then you're having to do it um there and wait like two hours to get everything folded and washed so yeah this you can do it from the comfort of your own home and like i said um this is pretty cool because i only spent 230 dollars for this off amazon i'm gonna put the link down below so you guys can purchase one if you need one and i'm gonna be going like step by step on how to use it this is a hose that drains out all the water out and so right now what i'm going to do i have all my laundry here and then what i'm going to do first is of course uh, sort the clothes uh, light and then darks and then i will move on to the first step so step number one I have a bucket here to pour water onto here because I don't like using the hose that goes connected to the water. I don't like doing that because I'll be here forever if I do that. So I just decided to buy a bucket, fill it up with water, dump it into the washer, and you have to fill it up like up to here. Like up to here. Okay, you can't go above that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. As you can see, I have everything in the shower so that, like in my bathtub, so that the water drains out directly into my bathtub. And it's just more like space that I have here versus using it at the kitchen or like somewhere else. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this water onto here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, detergent, add my darks, and then I'll tell you what to do for me. Okay, so since the extension cord was not reaching i had to add an extension cord to go there and then i have my laundry softener and my detergent in this case i'm using the tide pods ultra oxy four in one so it's very easy i just add one of these And then I start adding all my darks. I start adding all my darks. And they say that you're supposed to use like 12 clothes at the time, like 12 garments at the same time. So they do recommend you to only put about 12 pieces of clothes. So there's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12. I'm gonna add another one because it's my toddlers. As you can see, you still have a lot of space there left. So in the kitchen. I may just add, I'm gonna add three more small pieces only because they are small. And so, let's see, three, maybe some socks. And this, like, you'll be able to tell if you have more room for more, which at this time I really do have room for more. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more because some of these are like my toddler's clothes. And so those are small, but they do recommend that you use like 12 adult size, I guess. Uh, pieces of clothes and then um, like you can kind of tell like you're not supposed to fill it up all the way to here because like it'll eventually break so I'm gonna keep adding only because I can see that there's more space uh, let's see um, I'm gonna put this one there okay so I'm thinking that's good enough or maybe just add a little more. <laughs> I'm gonna keep like the darkest of the clothes with the darkest. So I'm thinking that I'm good with that. Uh, I would say I'm good with that. So I'm gonna close this and then pay attention. I'm gonna put it on normal and then I'm going to put this on 15. Okay, put it on 15 and it's already washing it's spinning as you can see and you can see the detergents already like diluted in the water and it already smells good in here too so <laughs> um but yeah this is what it looks like when it's washing when it's in, in washing mode and yeah you, you can use your hand a little and just kind of push them down a little so that they all get soaked with water and and then just kind of let let it do its job you see how dirty the water is like wow yeah that's how that's how it looks so i'm gonna let it do its job close it down and this thing actually moves pretty fast like it's already at 12 feet and a half i put it for 15 minutes so yeah and then you have the drain here draining mode and then this is the drying mode which this side will squeeze all the water from here and it leaves it like 80% dry and then that's when you hang it up in hangers or like hang it up somewhere and then it dries all the way for like another hour uh, you just let it air dry so yeah I will show you guys once this ends and then we'll move on to step number two so it's already like at nine minutes nine minutes and that's how you know because you see the silver thing pointing at it at the nine minutes so yep yeah, it's doing its job and it smells really good in here it smells like tide detergent so i'm just kind of picking everything up and just kind of moving everything in place so that it rotates nicely and it washes nicely so yeah and this is my second time using this by the way so it does an amazing job and i already have like good results for y'all so i just want to like show you guys how to do it just in case you guys are interested in purchasing one because the 230 dollars that you're spending is totally worth it because if you do the math like if you go to a laundry facility you're gonna spend like eight bucks to wash and dry 
and then also like the time that you're spending there and stuff so like yeah you can do these from the comfort of your own home so yeah the 220 dollars is is totally um totally worth it and like if you do the math like i was saying if you do the math eight times however many weeks are in the year um so like that's what you end up spending and like that's a lot of money so i prefer to use this and it works so yeah and then i can just like store it away nicely somewhere in my closet and it doesn't take up in a lot of space a lot of people think that these things are small but they're they're actually pretty big like all these clothes fit in there so i'll probably just do like four loads of laundry and that's it which is probably the same thing that i would be doing at the laundry facility so yep so i'll i'll see you guys when it gets to zero minutes okay so it finally stopped it's at zero and you have all the clothes in there with all the dirty water so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drain all that dirty water and of course it's gonna come out there look how dirty that water looks from the darks so you'll see all the water go down Yeah, I'm going to show you guys what the next step is. So I'm going to take my bucket again. Step number two. While all the water drains out, I'm going to fill up the bucket with water. And then I'm going to get my the laundry softener and this is the one I use because it smells so good and I got this from Costco so before I pour that water that's clean into here I'm gonna remember to do this I'm gonna put it back on normal because obviously if you leave it on drain and you pour that clean water in here it's gonna drain out so make sure make sure you pay attention because this is the time to put the uh, fa the fabric softener. So you put it on normal and you pour all the water in here. So I have poured that first bucket of water. Now I'm gonna pour a little more because I want it to go like to here maybe with the softener. So I don't waste so much water. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so you're only supposed to add like half of this cup. Okay, make sure you don't add too much because this is not like a like a normal full-sized washer. So make sure you only put like maybe I don't know uh, close to half. I don't know, maybe less than half. And then pour it on to here. And if you need to, just grab some water like I do and just kind of kind of do that so that it goes everywhere. Mmm, that smells good. Mmm, that smells very good. Oh, that smells good. So go here, and you're gonna do nine minutes you can do whatever you want but i always do nine minutes with the uh, fabric softener and there you go it's washing again this time it has the softener to make your clothes very soft and make your clothes smell good so yeah we'll wait for that to end and then I'll show you guys step number three. So I'm 
put all of these in this basket. And then I'm gonna get this bucket of water ready so that I can do another load. I'm gonna change these back to normal and care for another load. And you can have both going at the same time, okay? So that's what I'm doing now. Because I don't want to be here all day, so I'm going to go ahead and grab another Tide Pod. Drop it in there and then drop this other water off. And then put my second load of clothes. Okay guys, so this side already stopped. So I'm gonna take this out. And this thing kind of bends, so you don't have to be scared about breaking it because it won't break. I'm gonna sit it to the side. And then look how nice it came out. It came out almost dried, like 80% dried, like I was explaining earlier. So this is what I do. I just get some hangers, start hanging everything up and then I hang them from there or sometimes I take them outside when the sun's out so that's what I'm going to do now came out almost dry you guys almost dry looks pretty good maintained its color no stains Yeah, this one's like already dry. This one also looks like already dry. Okay, so remember I had this here. So I'm gonna add it now. In there to dry. I mean to dry. Yeah, yeah, to dry. Like to take all the water out. And it will be wet, so just be careful. I would say that's good enough. You just kind of eyeball it to see. Uh, there may be another space for like, two more of these, maybe. Yeah, just kind of eyeball it. You can't have it like go all the way to the top either, so because you're gonna push this down. I would say it's okay. So push this down, put that down, go to five minutes. And this one is washing. Time these are already drying because I have my air coming out of there directly onto my clothes, so they're already starting to dry. So, yeah, and I also have my fan on in my room, by the way. I have my fan on, so that one already stopped drying so now i'm gonna hang this one up just wanted to show y'all how it came out almost dry so yeah
this sock actually came out super dry. Like, I don't even need to hang this up. <laughs> yeah, too dry. Okay, see how I added like maybe three more pieces? Now it's not so empty. So, do that. So, there you go. Stop making that noise. I'm going to drain this water out. And then um, put this in the pink basket and then from here put them onto the dryer. So now I'm, gonna, I'm onto my uh, lights, clothes. My lights over there. So, so far I have all my clothes hanging from here now. Clothes smell good. My restroom smells really good. So I am almost done with my darks. As you can see, I'm already hanging them up there and then I'm taking them down to my stairs so that I can hang them on the stairs. So look how pretty this one came out and it looks like it's almost dry. So yeah, it's just one of my pink. That one's drying and that one is washing right now. This one, I'm washing some jeans, and you can just see how dark that water is. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. It's pretty amazing. Yep. This one ended. So, yeah. Okay, so with my jeans, with my jeans, I'm gonna be very careful because these are larger pieces. These are my jeans. So, getting ready to put another one in there. There's like a couple of t-shirts and some shorts. So, go ahead and do that. I have my lights in there still. Watching. I like to rearrange them from time to time so that they all wash good. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that. So. Wash my hands a little. Actually, no, you guys. I was able to fit all three of these jean items in here. My jeans my shorts and one of the girls shorts all three of them i'm able to put them in there so i just wanted to show y'all because i was wrong i thought only my jeans would fit in there but um, but i was wrong there's actually more room i'm almost done i just have one more load of whites and one more of these to dry so yeah and this one's almost done I will talk to you soon. So I'm down to my last laundry load and I just want to show you a way up what I have in here. I have a couple of blankets from my toddlers, a shirt, I also have a towel, a beach towel. So just to give you an idea of what I'm washing. And I have my laundry detergent and my softener in there already. So. so this concludes my video on the Cosway portable washer and dryer. Does it work? Yeah. From scale 0 to 10 I would give this a 10. Okay definitely invest in this washer and dryer because it is it is very good so I'm going up my steps right now so I can show you guys how I have all my clothes I hung up all my clothes here on the stairs and yeah. 
they are drying nicely here. And then tomorrow I will just put them away. There's no need to, to fold anything. I can just hang everything up in their closets. <laughs> yep, that's it. I'm gonna leave the link to this. Uh, I purchased it on Amazon and I paid like $230 including taxes so go check out the reviews also I don't purchase anything without any good reviews so I hope you do the same and um, I hope you like this video subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos and I will talk to you guys later have an awesome weekend bye bye